Ooh, what's going on guys? It is the Pax Player Arcade okay, here back with another video for you guys. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the newest game to our collection. This is actually where our kangaroo machine used to be. But since we got this, it is now in the spot that kangaroo used to be. And this is Tron by Valley Midway and Walt Disney Productions. Um, this came out in 1982, I believe, after the movie was released. And this cabinet has a lot of cool lighting effects and artwork that make it look really awesome. Um, most arcade machines ge uh, generally had one light at the top here for the marquee. Um, and this is, it's not on, but uh, when I turn it on I can show you. There was one light at the marquee and that was it. Um, in our row here, most of our games are like that. They just have one light at the marquee at the top. Um, Xevious has two. As you can see here, uh, Xevious has one for the marquee and then one behind the control panel right here. Which will be easier to show you guys when I turn all the games on. Um, but Tron actually has four lights in it. There's a light for the marquee. Um, then there's this right here is a monitor shroud. Um, and I think these are just stickers that are on it. And then behind the shroud, there's like a like a thick piece of paper behind the shroud that has artwork on it. And then behind that, there's a light that lights it up. And it's a really cool look and effect. And there's also a light for down here, below the control panel. And then there's also a light here, which is actually a black light. And it makes all the stuff in here, like the joystick, kind of glow. And it's really cool look and effect. So I'll show you guys the artwork. I turned the flash on here for the artwork. Um, this machine is in really good shape. Uh, just a couple scrapes on the artwork at the top. Um, this is a sticker that went on the cabinet and that's original. This has not been restored at all. So right there it says Tron. bottom and on the other side we have it up against the wall so you can't really see it but it's the same artwork on the other side so on the inside I'll show you so on the inside of the cabinet there is a sticker here and then there's another sticker here um, on the inside then there's the shroud like I was talking about and then there's stickers on the shroud um, now you can kind of see it there's a the image is back there behind the shroud. And when the game's turned on, it's really cool to see. Um, still cool to look at even when the game's off. It's just a cool it's a cool effect, but it's definitely cooler to look at it with the game on for sure. Um, here's the original monitor. It does have burn in. It's kind of hard to see from here though. And then this is the part where the black light is. This is the control panel. Not in that bad of shape. Um, just has some cigarette burns on it, as you can see right there, and right there above the play one and play two start button. There's also some there's also some cigarette burns here on the metal on the shroud. Look at the coin door. Again, not in uh, not in too bad of shape. And here are the instructions. Instructions, C screen for scoring, press trigger for instructions, insert coin. To start, press one or two player button. Joystick moves Tron in one of four directions. Use of trigger will A, fire Tron's disc, or B, increase speed of light cycle. Rotate knob to aim Tron's disc. And then right here it says 1982 Walt Disney Productions. And up here is the marquee, and we have a kangaroo and Spongebob plush on top of the game, which is awesome. And then, if you look at the marquee, this marquee is actually in really nice shape. 
That is Bally Midway trademark. And then over here it says 1981 Walt Disney Productions. So that is a quick look at the cabinet. The spinner as well has a sticker on it, but it's been kind of peeled that a little bit. Um, this is the original blue joystick. It has the little Tron plastic inside it, which is awesome. Alright, so I'll turn all the games on here, and like I said, I'll show you guys the cool lighting effects that this machine has. Uh, once I turn all the games on, and I will show you guys some gameplay. Alright, so now I have all the games turned on here. And I can show you what I was talking about before with the lights. So you can see most of the games in our row here just have one light to light up the marquee. Um, Xevious does have two. There's a light for the marquee and a light down here for the control panel. Um, with Tron, like I said, is four. It has one for the marquee, one for the backdrop here. Um, one down here to light up this part under the control panel and then a black light right here and it makes the joystick and all the stickers and stuff in here kind of glow which is really cool so uh, I'll do some gameplay here alright so got a quarter I'm not good at this game when I use two hands to play, and I'm going to use one hand to play right now because I'm using the other hand to hold the phone for the camera. So we'll see how this goes. This game has four mini games in it. Uh, each are decided by a separate color uh, on the grid that you'll see here in a second. Um, and it's just those four mini games, and then that's one level basically. And once you beat all four, you go to the next level which is the same four mini games again, but just harder, and it gets harder and harder each time. Um, but the levels are not, like it doesn't say, at the bottom of the screen will say the level, but it doesn't say like level one, level two, level three. It has like programming languages for the level names, uh, which is really cool. So you start out, <clears throat> so you start out as RPG, then you go to COBOL, then um, basic, and I've never gotten past that one. I think there's 12 total, and user is the top one. Um, but. We'll see how it goes. And this monitor needs to be adjusted a little bit. It's a little bit too far. Like it needs to be adjusted this like this way a little bit, and the bottom's a little too low. It needs to go up a little bit. Um, but other than that, it's good. Start up a game here. So here are the colors I was talking about. Each color represents a different game. You use the joystick to move to pick a color. I'll pick green. Okay, this is the. You just have to get into the circle shoot the spiders. I'll see how I can do this with one hand. There's also a timer you have to get in before the timer runs out. Alright, so I beat that one. And we'll do blue here next. This is the MCP code. You just have to shoot the blocks and you get to the top, and you can't touch the blocks. You don't use the spinner, you just use the joystick. Thank you. 
last one, which is the tanks. So you just have to get the tanks before they get you. So that is the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is a really cool game and a really cool cabinet as well. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.